all the time. Hey guys, welcome back to Chasing the Woodsman. I am Ryan. Today we're going to be milling up some wood just for the pure enjoyment out of it. I have a long list of projects I need to get going on. I've been a little bit delayed because of snow this winter, obviously because my, my mill is just out in the open. Hopefully I'll remedy that this summer and build a shelter over it so I'm not so delayed during the winter months. Today, I'm going to be just snatching whatever log I can out of these, these stacks around me. Not going to be too picky. I am in need of 2 by 6s for my barn build. I'd like to grab some red fir 2 by 4s out of those for a kitchen project and a laundry room project. I'm not going to be real picky. I'm just going to grab logs and mill. I don't have a whole lot of daylight. And I just wanted to get up here just for the enjoyment of it. It's why I bought this mill was, this portable sawmill, was to, to get up and enjoy being outside and, and providing for my hobby, which is woodworking. We all know that wood is expensive and I was blessed with the opportunity to purchase this portable sawmill and it's been, it's been amazing. So if you're looking to buy one, go get it. Uh, it I really don't think it matters what, what model, what brand you go with, because no matter what, you're going to be milling your own lumber, providing a way for you to continue your hobby without breaking the bank, breaking the budget. So for me, I have a lot of builds I'd like to do to finish my, my barn and make a shop, a wood shop, to raise up a couple other buildings, to finish projects within my house. I mean, if you guys watch the channel, you, you know we've listed out those projects and you'll see many more to come. But today is just so beautiful. I, I couldn't pass up just getting up here for the pure enjoyment of, of my hobby. So with that, let's get to milling.
Well, guys, I know everybody makes mistakes. I know I make my fair share of mistakes, but today seems to be one of those days where I'm just struggling to get going here. Unfortunately, even without realizing it, I damaged my mill earlier in plowing the snow off of off of uh, everywhere around it, even off the top of the off the top of the mill. Usually what I do is I lay a couple scraps on top to kind of keep the snow from from dipping dipping down in, in between the, the rungs here. If it didn't do that, and I used the tractor, which was dumb, to push the snow off the top because it was heavy and I was trying to be fast about it. Well, in doing that, I threw everything off. I bent my uh, kickers here. Let's see if I can show you. That's from the tractor. I bent them completely over two of them i don't know what i was thinking luckily it's just two of them but you never want to damage your stuff and so i'm pretty bummed i'll get it bent back up and fixed and repaired i try and take care of my things i don't know what i was thinking like i said just one of those days i thought i'd be quick about it and just push the snow off the top well it, it bent both of those and i noticed that my saw head keeps moving forward which this thing used to be perfectly level i have it screwed down to this platform it shouldn't be moving forward like that so i think i got something out of whack here even then this log is about as goofy as ever i might get a two by four or two out of it i'll continue but it's frozen so i think i have some some blade wandering in it i'll keep going i don't mean to be negative but sometimes you just have one of those days
Well, unfortunately, I think I'm done. I will come back out tomorrow. I'm gonna go and get some supplies for this. I think I really jacked this thing up. So I'll show you what I mean here in a moment, but it's, it's pretty important that you get these beds laid out flat. And if they're screwed up, then when you start getting into your dimensional lumber, then, then things are not gonna be square. They're not gonna be straight. So what I have going on behind me, and I'll get up close so you can see, is a dip. So whatever I did, I, I really knocked this thing out of whack. I have a, a bow in, in the middle of this, this uh, bed. So it's kind of doing this. And you can't cut square, good, good square straight lumber out of that. I can get some ugly two by sixes out of this. So I think I can get two or three of them. I'm gonna just try. At least it'd be good for studs, a jack stud or something like that when I when I frame up my barn. But I'm just gonna set this cant aside and then come back out tomorrow, stretch out a uh, stretch out a a line and uh, see if I can get this thing squared back up. It's kind of been necessary for a while, even beyond me just running my tractor into this thing. I've kind of wanted to just double check and make sure everything's nice and square. It's been cutting really well, but it's always a good idea to go through and just make sure that your 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 machine is, is running the best that it can be running. So I'm gonna get this thing cleaned out a little bit, get this cant off to the side, and then we'll try again tomorrow with some better light it's starting to cool off a little bit and I got a storm moving in here from the east so I think tomorrow will be a better bet let's give that a try this is what I'm talking about guys I got this thing all messed up so tomorrow I'll take and stretch a line I'll start from this point down here and come to this side of the bed and see what that string tells me I mean who knows maybe this cant is just wobbly it was a wobbly log but I mean there's there's better part of three quarters of an inch dip in the middle where I'm f where I'm sitting flat on both ends of my my bunk here so I got to see what's going on tomorrow I'm gonna spend some good good time working on this thing I'm fortunate for getting some projects done but it's, it's good to take care of your of your equipment all right guys I think that's gonna be it for this video it just so happens that I didn't get very much done at all Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have not so good days. Well, today was one of those days. Is it the end of the world? Oh no, no, today was still beautiful. I got something cut and I learned something. Don't push snow off the top of your log mill with your tractor. Just don't be lazy and use a shovel. So I'll get this thing straightened back out with some string and levels and I'll get those cleats bent back up again so I can get this thing running. But for the time being, that's all we got for today. Thanks for tuning in to Chasing the Woodsman. Be blessed in all you do. We'll see you next time.